This is the second tutorial on making a random seeding plan generator. What makes this tutorial different is that we're going to make sure that certain key students are seated far apart from each other. Just to revise what we did in the previous tutorial, we set up a seeding plan similar to what you see on the left, and then you had your names here on the right. Now, if I highlighted the names as well as the random numbers next to them, and then sorted them from smallest to largest, it changes the seating plan. I'll do it right now. Now I need to pick four students that I want to sit apart from each other, and we'll refer to these students as the misunderstood students. The names I'm going to pick are Dale, someone I work with, Josh, Josh owns a channel called Tech Math on YouTube, it's really good, check it out. Uh, my name, Benjamin, as well as John, another co-worker. I have to say that Dale and John both deserve to be on this misunderstood list. Now I want to sit these four far apart from each other. So just to help you visualize what I'm doing, I'm going to highlight the desks where I'm going to sit them. I'm going to sit one on each corner of the room so that they're far apart from each other. So in the top left corner, we'll put Dale, and in order to do that, I'm going to click Equals, and then I'm just going to click on the name Dale. You'll notice it puts a reference L18, which is where Dale is, and then I press Enter. In the next cell, I'm going to click Equals, then click on Josh from Tech Math, then Enter. The next cell, Equals, I'll click on my name, Benjamin, then Enter. And on the next cell, Equals, then click on John, and then enter. Next I need to put some random numbers next to these names. So next to Dale, I'm going to click the cell and go equals R-A-N-D for random, then open the bracket, then close the bracket, and this time a little different, I'm going to add one at the end of it, then click enter. For Josh, equal sign, R-A-N-D for random, open the bracket, close the bracket, plus one again, then enter. Rather than typing this out each time, I can click on one of the cells and drag that little square down and it will copy the command to each cell below. Now you'll notice that the random numbers next to my misunderstood students are like the ones above except they've got a 1 at the beginning instead of a 0. It's really important to do that. That's going to make sure that when I sort them that these four students will stay at the bottom. Next, I'm going to highlight my four misunderstood students in orange, just for now, just so you can see that they're going to stay down the bottom there. And then I'm going to highlight all the names as well as the random numbers. Clicking up above at Sort and Filter, I want to sort from smallest to largest. This will make sure that my larger numbers, the misunderstood students, will stay at the bottom. When I did that, you'll notice that everyone's changed seats and that the misunderstood students have been scattered between the four key desks as shown here. Just to clean things up a little bit, we really want to get rid of these orange colors. Otherwise, when students see what you're doing, they're going to pick up on it. They're going to go, why am I one of the orange ones? And that's something that you really don't want to talk about. So we just highlight the whole lot and make the background white. So then it's not so obvious. You may also decide that you want the kids to not see the names on the right. We can fix that. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight the names as well as the random numbers. And we're going to start by putting a border around it like so. Next, I'm going to highlight them and make all the words white. By doing that, they will blend in with the background so that students can't see the names. Then all we need to do is highlight everything inside the border and sort it from smallest to largest and the names will change accordingly. Anyway, that concludes our video. If you really like what you see, please subscribe and remember to click on the bell icon so that you will be notified of future videos.